I don't use screen capture because I suck. Okay, so we got a new NVIDIA driver today. We're still using NVIDIA. And we're rocking the uh, 1000 series cards. We got a bunch of them. Well, you know, I got a 1060, a 1070, and a 1080. 1061 I don't even use anymore. It's just in a trash computer. Um, GeForce 511.23 dropped today. But... Guru 3D, cool site. The Guru 3D shows you what they kind of fixed, or maybe they broke stuff. Still don't support my G Sync monitor. It's like doesn't exist. Oh look, the cards that you can't get that are twelve hundred dollars now. LOL meme. You see that they released a 3080 Ti, was it? And a 3090 Ti and a 3080. V2 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM instead of 10 and the money they want for it and we'll just keep talking like this because it's annoying um yeah funny 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 soon they'll start making these legacy cards just to stick it to you so you know just to be an ass but here's a clean version right here claims what I have been using because the NVIDIA drivers are not only getting huger they are getting filled with more bloatware. So, open a new tab, Mega and Z. You see, you get the GTX version, which I have, or an RTX if you have one. An RTX card, a 20 series, a 30 series, um, desktop and notebook. You know, you gotta figure out what you're doing over here. A little, little extra thought process. But they clean out the crap. You see right there. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba they run pretty good. Never had a problem with them. I had a problem with some of the uh, NVIDIA drivers because they really sucked. But there we go. See, it's only 385 megabytes. If you get the legit one off the NVIDIA website, it is huge. Is it downloading? Yeah. And you zip it and um, you do the other thing. My internet's going very, very slow because I'm trying to upload another video about some nonsense. I don't even know. People are robbing trains or something. And you'll see it before this one. I don't know. I was talking about conspiracy theories because it's fun. Um, so it's going to take a little longer. But yeah, you get the clean driver. I told a couple people about this, but they didn't listen to me. They just download it from GeForce Experience with the trash, or they download it from the NVIDIA website. There's another utility too you can use to slim down the uh, driver. Um, it's called NV Slimmer. And I don't really think people are using that too much. There hasn't really been an update for for a while. And some say like the newer drivers anyway over like a certain number don't really work well in there. I don't know. Does it do anything? Is it just a placebo effect? Like you think you're doing something but you're not. But that's how I get my drivers for the uh, GeForce thing right there. We'll link the webpage, forums, Guru 3D, blah 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 blah. They come out all the time. Pages and pages, pages and you have the fanboys to just say thank you Evil Toaster. Thank you Evil Toaster. He has the best logo ever, Evil Toaster. Alright, done. Clean version. They work. And I've also um, had some improvements with the new NVIDIA driver crashing over time. I used the display driver removal tool. Started totally fresh and then put one of these on and resolved some issues. Yeah, NVIDIA keeps us putting more and more and more and more crap. Hold on, I want to see how big the um, OG file is. Um, from the NVIDIA site. Hold on. It's so uh, slow. You see what I mean? You effectively almost slashed uh, half of the file size using the clean version because this has all bullshit in it. They're getting larger and larger and larger. Soon these things are going to be like one terabyte or larger. Like you're almost pushing 800 megabytes now. It's crazy. It used to not be like this. What's this? 387. Bam. So, clean version for the win. Yeah. Yay. Oh crap. Boy, what did you download here, boy? There it is. GTX. Setup. Goes like the regular thing. And uh, then I get a link to this folder in my shared folder so I can load it on my other computer and I don't have to download it again. That's how we roll. Networked it. Yeah, let's do that. Blah 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 blah. 
and NVIDIA cards that you cannot afford. Who is paying $1,200 or more for a graphics card? You are insane. That is totally not worth it. Even the 3060, meh. And still people are paying too much money for them. For what they are, like $800, $700 for 3060. No thank you. Or now a 3050 coming out, a 3050 Ti. <laughs> video. How are they doing record profits and you can't even get their products? I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, it's, it's an end for this anyway with the whole uh, computer thing. You, you have to, it's a niche market and you have to be rich to be able to afford a graphics card. And these companies just do not care. And these little fanboys keep on buying them from scalpers for thousands and thousands of dollars. And now the scalper is getting charged. Oh, the display resets. They're getting charged the internet tax. Boom, done. Sometimes you gotta restart. I don't have to. Excellent, worked. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Alright, that's how you do it. The clean version 511.23. There'll probably be another driver tomorrow because they'll probably find something wrong with this one because NVIDIA drivers really have been sucking. Why not? On our near totally free Epic Games account, we will now wait for the file to transfer. Uh, and I'll put it on this computer. But this is, um, what am I going to say? I'll, I'll link to the, the freaking link in the description because people don't know how to read and they just Google and search other things. And they go, how do I get it? How do I get it? And you'll still link it and you'll tell people in the video that it's in the description. And people still will have a problem and they won't be able to find it. I don't know why.